I get spilled the beans. You're getting two this week, baby, so hang on tight, okay? Uh, if you've never been to Spill the Beans before, this is a once a week chat where we talk about everything under the sun from activism to music to auditions to making money in the arts to building a business to uh, lifting every voice to creative endeavors to creative mindset, whatever. We talk about everything you get in the picture this is then reposted on the feed on tiktok instagram youtube facebook all my regulars you know what i'm saying so you can check them out there if you miss them in the instagram stories okay and if you've never seen me before i'm tara priolo i'm your resident white facing biracial multi-passionate musician and i talk about the ish that nobody wants to talk about and push you to do the same so grab your drink and let's get started this is going to be a little dystopian but because I do feel like the appies are crushing things because we talk about certain things like ceasefire, free Palestine, okay, free humanity, free the Congo, you know, I'm just gonna, this is gonna be dystopian, but y'all can join my Slack channel for free 99, okay, like there's no paywall, it's gonna have a community, uh, community care cash in there, uh, eventually, and by eventually, I'm hoping to get it in there by the end of November, and then stay tuned for other opportunities, you can also join my, um, broadcast channel, which I don't post in a whole ton, uh, they're still vocally courageous on Saturdays, we hope, Clubhouse just changed, um, and, you know, there's other stuff going on. So stay tuned, jump on my email list, find me on all the apps because that. So PSA, those are the places you can find me. I keep getting distracted by other reels and other information and I don't have the clearest topic that I want to talk about. I know we were talking about communication last time and I said a lot of the things that I wanted to say in my last live, which I will try to break apart in my ample non-time, but I do want to say that I am sensing a specific, like, shocked fatigue. It's not even like a fatigue in, in other people. It's not even like a fatigue from consuming so much information or getting so much education, but rather like a shock that it is fatiguing or exhausting to witness and also and in the work like the work itself like clearly a lot of y'all have learned nothing right like there were ma there have been massive protests um the me too movement black lives matter movement um you know we've all learned about the suffragettes in school like there have been these massive protests and to still believe that like doing the work and standing up for what is right isn't fatiguing is very odd to me like it is simp quote unquote simple work but it is hard work right and just because it is hard does not mean it's not right or that it shouldn't be done and the reason that some of this work is so hard is because decolonizing and uh, anti-racism work and humanitarian work really takes uh, a person who is willing to reflect inward and deal with the internalized systemic issues that are from the society that we live in. And so that can take, it can take time and it can take effort and it can take, it can take labor. And I just, again, I'm just on this message of you have to stay in it and even if it's uncomfortable right because we've been here we've been in this current present issue for 30 plus days right over a month and we got to stay in it to change the world and recognizing that it might take time doesn't mean that we can't do things in the present moment whatever level of decolonization and anti-racism work uh, that we're at. It should not be a, a political or shocking or fatiguing thing to call for ceasefire and 
to call for humanity. Like, it just shouldn't. That should not, those should not be radical statements. Free Palestine, free uh, the world, Black Lives Matter. The None of these should be radical statements, but we're living in a world where they are, which means that when you say them or when you're, when you hear them, you then are reflecting in on yourself, right? But we have to stay here, right? We can't, we can't be talking about stuff in the future. We can talk about what can happen now. And the, the silver lining, the upside in this instance is that the right thing that is hard is not as hard as living in Gaza or in the West Bank or in Israel or in the Congo or in Ethiopia or in Yemen or in Rwanda, which I just learned the other day is how you pronounce it. It's not Rwanda, it's Rwanda. Anyway, um, the lucky thing is that the hard and right thing is a collective ideology at this moment in America, in the United States. There are people, you're not alone. Now, I don't know exactly who needed to hear that or if I need to hear that or what, or if it's gonna make any difference at all, but the impact that I make with the people in my stories is enough. And I want to encourage you that even if you have one follower or one friend on Facebook or one subscriber on YouTube or wherever you're posting, um, or one person that reads your blog or your email list, please consider posting. You're not alone. It's the collectivist mindset of safety. You're not alone. So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. That's all for Spill the Beans. Continue to be anti-racist. Be safe. Please call your reps. Cease fire now. Free Palestine. Do good work. Make good trouble. I love y'all hardcore. And I'll see you next time. Which will be tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye guys.